Welcome to this first lesson on adding and subtracting integers. And that's what this lesson is going to show you how to add and subtract integers, which are positive and negative numbers. And I'm going to show you how to do that by using a number line. And the first example here, two minus three, the way you use the number line to add and subtract numbers is to start on the first number and move this many in that direction. So you're going to start on the number two and move three in the negative direction, which is always to the left. So whenever you're minusing using a number line, you always move to the left, no matter what number you start on. So for this one, starting on two and moving three to the left. So one, two, three, and I end up on minus one. So two minus three is equal to minus one. Example two minus three plus four. So again, starting on minus three and moving four in the positive direction means I start on minus three and then move four to the right. So one, two, three, and four, and I end up on one. So minus three plus four equals one. Example three, minus four minus two, so once again, starting on minus four and moving two in the negative direction, which is to the left. So starting on minus four and moving two to the left, one, two, and that actually is on the minus six. So minus four minus two is equal to minus six. Now you might be thinking that a minus and a plus become a negative, but that's really only when the two signs are right next to each other in between the numbers, like something like that. And then they do change to a negative and I'm going to go through how to do them in a couple of lessons. So this is really just to get you moving the right way on the number line. And so looking at example four, seven minus eight. So starting on seven, and moving eight to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And ending up on minus one. So seven minus eight is equal to minus one. Minus eight plus two. Starting on minus eight and moving two to the right. So starting here and going two to the right, you end up on minus six. So minus eight plus two equals minus six. And then the last one, five minus 10, starting on five and then moving 10 to the left. So here's five, so one, two, three, four, five to get to the zero, and then another one, two, three, four, five. So I've moved 10 altogether and I end up on minus five. So minus five, sorry, five minus 10 equals minus five. So the key thing you must do if you want to be able to add and subtract integers easily and get the right answer is to start on the first number, move the second number in this direction. And once again, whenever you're minusing, you always move to the left. And whenever you're adding, you always move to the right. So download the exercise, have a go at it. The questions are very similar to these ones. And there's a number line that goes with the exercise as well. And there are answers so you can check your answers and I will see you in the next lesson where there will be a bit more practice on number line with slightly harder numbers.